Hey, it's Ron Dash Warrior. Um, I finally mastered um how to <laughs> fucking record a vid. Oh, like um horizontal uh, horizontally instead of or like I guess landscape instead of portrait. Um, yeah, new vlogger. No, um, actually, um, I'm just doing a quick video diary because I just haven't done one in such a fucking long time, and um, you know, I guess like now I'm in an okay situation. Uh, I found a job, I can't really tell you where I work, just, you know, for privacy reasons and also because my last employers were just nasty pieces of shit that would just kind of put a red cross um, over my name, um, because I d it was just odd. Um, I did get a lot of uh, job offers, but as soon as they got references from that workplace, um, they would just kind of change their mind and say because of legal reasons they couldn't hire me, which is really fucking odd. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, so I started a new job. Um, I'm happy about it. The kind of the odd thing I find odd about this job is, um, the more irritated they get at you, the more kind of the more they smile, the more they're irritated at you. Um, Another, oh, except for this one worker, they're still kind of deciding if she actually wants to work there or not, because yesterday she came in late, I don't know how late she came, but um, they asked her why she came late, and she just didn't have an answer for it, and she's also, I don't know, I think her English is really limited, so they put her in packaging, but there's, like, they put her in packing, and... But she's still kind of struggling with that. Um, I tried to be nice to her, but she just kind of gave me this look, you know, why are you even talking to me? Um, yeah, the thing is, I only have two theories about her because she's just kind of bad at, like, all the... I don't think she's ever worked in this industry before. But, yeah, um, she, she does seem to be kind of slow, but... I can kind of tell she doesn't really want to work there, but she's saying she does because she doesn't really have a choice because um, manager actually asked if she actually wanted to work there and I think she must have said yes or something. Um, but yeah, it just shows that she really doesn't want to be there and she didn't really have a choice. Um, and all of... Everybody's just irritated with her because she's not really good at anything. You know, she's not really good at cleaning. She's not really good at... Uh, front, of uh, front of house or anything um, in the category um, but yeah uh, so I moved out from that sketchy ass landlord and then uh, I'm you know I'm living here now uh, I don't really want to show you my room because it's a fucking mess and I've also got to wash my uniform as well um, I've also got to see my work broker because I'm looking for a second job just because of work and income. Um, basically, they, um, like, uh, me and my boyfriend said that we're in a relationship and since he's working full time and since I'm the only one on the benefit, there's a stupid le legislation um, saying I can't be on the benefit, which is really fucking stupid because there is no way my boyfriend can afford to um, pay for me for anything because he's he isn't just so much debt like he's paying off a student loan uh or thingy from school he's paying off he took he took out a mortgage with his mum um he's got a loan out for for uh building his computer um yeah basically you know even though I'm still on the benefit um just because I can't really afford to I guess, support myself that much, even though I have this job, um, yeah, uh, he, I get more money than him, which is just, you know, um, yeah, so it just, it's just gone to a point, you know, like, I pay him for petrol and stuff like that, or at least I try to, um, but yeah, basically they, he just can't really afford to just pay for everything for me, um, you know, fuck knows, uh, I think it's throughout, like, the, you know, months we've been dating, I think we've only been out to the movies once, maybe, um, I just feel really, also, the factor is, I just really feel bad, just kind of, 
asking him to take me out and stuff when he just really can't afford it. But I have asked him to take me out of park to parks and gardens and stuff like that. But uh, he's not really an outdoorsy person, so that kind of sucks. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna see my work broker to look for a second job. Um, because Wins is gonna cut off my payments in two months. Um, just because I'm in a relationship where my partner's working full time, even though it's you know. I, he really can't afford to just pay for everything for me and um it's just odd how they asked so in their in the forms you know it asks if you're in a relationship or whatever if you're living together rah, rah, rah. and one of the questions they ask is you know how how much debt he's in or what are his assets and rah 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 and I just kind of gave them a weird look because the first time they asked me and my boyfriend were only dating for two months and you know I wasn't gonna fucking ask him how much money he made and stuff and then um the second time they asked uh which was at work and income they fucking oh yeah it was we'd only been dating for four months you know that was when we made it official and it's just like I'm not gonna fucking ask someone how much money they make in four months because it's just fucking weird you know um, but yeah, so I'm living in a house with, uh, two guys now. I've lived in, a uh, all-male household before. Um, these ones are just a little bit odd or weird because I, I think they want another guy here. I don't think they want another girl and they must have heard me say that to my, um, like, they must have heard me eavesdropping because... My landlord's just turned around and he said to me, he goes, oh, well, if you want to move out, you need to give two mu two weeks notice or something. And I don't know, it was just a really odd kind of thing. Um, also, you know, just the way he interacts with my other housemate, it's just, you know, like he's really, you know, he's just, oh, hey, hi, how are you? Rah, rah, rah. And then with me, it's just, just like this awkward silence. But yeah, I don't know. So yeah, gonna meet up with my work broker, um, thinking of volunteering, um, just because I'm just sick of being inside all the time. Um, this is, this is before I had a job, but I don't know, I guess I do need to go out there and kind of give back to the world, and so, yeah. Um, what else do I need to do? Oh, I've also got to get, I've also got to go to the clinic and get fucking, uh, you know, contraception, you know, I feel like we know each other enough that I can just put that out there, no, no I don't know, um, yeah, also just the fact that I probably should be using extra contraception just because I'm turning 27 this year and I should fucking know better, um, but yeah, uh, I would just recommend you get an STD check, I don't know, uh, just a bit of positive advice. I don't fucking know what to say after I just put that bombshell out there. Um, but yeah, uh, tomorrow I've got to work. I picked up two extra shifts, so I'm working five days a week this week. I'm not sure if I'm working those next week. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. I'm probably going to just do some light cleaning. Um, I've got to go to town. Um... Yeah, I think that's it. Um, Alright, see you later. You know, if you want to follow my life, I've got a fucking Instagram. Um, but it's, I think it's under my real name, so I don't know how I feel about that. You know, I'm, I'm kind of iffy about that because I don't get a lot of subscribers, so the people that do subscribe, that are subscribed to me, they've been subscribed to me for a few years now. So I don't really, and also they've, like, found my Facebook, um... So I don't really feel kind of iffy giving out my Instagram and stuff like that, but I think just the recent or, like, new subscribers, which is one person this month, um, I, I'm just a little bit uncomfortable about that because, um, I've, you know, had a few weirdos before, but, yeah, um, birds of a feather. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's it. That's all I kind of wanted to just kind of talk about, um... Yeah, just move to a new place. Hopefully my bad luck isn't fucking following me everywhere. Uh, got a new job. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Alright, see you later.